Welcome to Kidney News. I'm your host Prasad. Who did former Prime Minister Dr. Mahathir Mohamad meet recently? I'll give you a clue. It was a former Prime Minister seeking support to reclaim the office. We've had quite a few formers lately, so I'll narrow it down for you. It's Mohidin. And he doesn't wish to be a former Prime Minister no more. Tan Sri Mohidin said to me, uh, he wanted me to support him for his attempt to become the Prime Minister once again. This was the reply from former Prime Minister Dr. Mahathir Mohamad when asked to confirm a news report that Bursatu President Muhyiddin Yassin had met with him recently. Speaking at a press conference this morning, Mahathir said he was also puzzled as to why Muhyiddin wanted his support as Pajuang had lost in the Johor state election, was not strong and didn't have much money. <laughs> <laughs> Mahathir added that Pajuang has not discussed the matter but hinted that he was against it. He added that his party would not support somebody who was as much of a failure as Najib Abdul Razak was as Prime Minister. Uh, he was not a good Prime Minister. <laughs> Sebab itu, tak ada sebab orang nak pilih dia semula. Kalau dia achieve some great things for Malaysia, saya yakin dia tak dapat pertolongan daripada saya pun dia boleh menang. Lah. When asked if Pejuang would work with Perikatan Nasional in the next general election, he said his party would work with those who are against corruption. But wait, it gets more interesting. You know who else is seeking to meet Mahathir? Past President Abdul Hadi Awang. This must be deja vu for Anwar Ibrahim. Is no one meeting him? Past President Abdul Hadi Awang said that the party will arrange for a meeting with Pajuang Chairperson Dr. Mahathir Mohamad. Hadi was quoted by Utusan Malaysia as saying in Terengganu today that the meeting will be arranged to discuss cooperation for Malay unity. He said PAS was willing to work with any party that was not extreme or liberal and would work with anyone to unite the Ummah. Hadi will be the second Perikatan national leader to meet Mahathir. Yesterday, it was revealed that Bersatu President Muhyiddin Yassin had met with Mahathir after the Johor state election to secure cooperation for the 15th general election. In a press conference today, Mahathir said that the party had not discussed the matter. He had also said that he would not support Muhyiddin's bid to become Prime Minister again, calling the latter a backstabber and a failure. Efforts by Bersatu and PAS to Wu Pejuang came after all three had a dismal showing during the Johor polls. PN came in third place in the popular vote during the state election, while Pejuang had lost all of its deposits. With meetings on cooperation for the next general election taking place, it would seem like the elections could be held soon. However, according to a prediction from Rafizi Ramli, G15 will take place in four months. Former Pandan MP Rafizi Ramli predicts that the 15th general election will take place in four months. According to Rafizi, this could happen for a number of reasons, which includes the government's memorandum of understanding with Pakatan Harapan that says that parliament will not be dissolved before July 31st and the closing of the Hajj pilgrimage season at that time. Rafizi was quoted as saying in The Star that four months is a short time and he wouldn't be surprised if it is held in August or September. He added that if he was in Amno, he would call for the general election to be held by the end of July. He had also revealed yesterday that he was prepared to contest in the parliamentary constituency of Pandan once more if given a green light from the party to do so. Rafizi had recently announced his political return and revealed that he would contest the party's deputy president post in the upcoming polls. Nominations are expected to be held this month while the party election will take place in May. His return to the political arena comes after Harapan and PKR's failure in four state elections, with the latest one held in Johor. Prior to his withdrawal from active politics, Rafizi was seen as an influential figure in PKR and regarded as one of the PKR president Anwar Ibrahim's closest advisors.
PKR Secretary General Saifuddin Nasution Ismail has become the third person to declare his candidacy for the PKR Deputy President position after Rafizi Ramli and Farhash Wafa Salvador Rizal Mubarak. Saifuddin Nasution Ismail has announced his candidacy for the PKR Deputy President post. He is the third person to declare candidacy for the position after Rafizi Ramli and Farhash Wafa Salvador Rizal Mubarak. Saifuddin pledged to support PKR President Anwar Ibrahim and fulfill his role as a team player. He added that he has shown his loyalty to the party for 23 years and was a key person in the party's election preparations in 2008, 2013 and 2018. Saifuddin also pledged to be loyal to the party in the event that he was unsuccessful in the polls. Saifuddin Nasution and Rafizi had previously ran for PKR's deputy presidency before in 2014 and 2018 respectively. Azmin Ali, who later defected to Bersatu, had succeeded in fending them off in both contests. The PKR elections will take place on May 13. Nominations will take place on April 9. The anti-party hopping bill has been scheduled to be tabled at a special parliamentary sitting on April 11th. Now, Bursi wants you to get a hold of your MPs. Bursi has launched a virtual anti-hopping bill campaign. This comes ahead of the bill's tabling in parliament on April 11, 2022. The campaign, called Tag Your MP, seeks to raise public awareness and gather political support for the bill. To participate in the campaign, the public can call on their MPs to support the bill by tweeting and tagging them on social media using the hashtags TagYourMP and AntiHoppingNow. They can send them an email on the anti-hopping bill. Share the idea to join the movement to their families and friends and sign the petition, which can be found on Bursay's Facebook. In the press conference at the launch of the campaign today, Bursi Treasurer and Acting Executive Director Nyang Chao Ying said the bill was necessary to regain the trust and interest of the rakyat to vote in the 15th general election. Ito perlu mempunyai undang-undang untuk menghentikan berjalan lompat hati oleh wakil rakyat yang telah kami saksi membuka kesedaran kerajaan dan kami. Tanpa sekarang mekanisme nanti lompat tadi, rakyat akan terus kecewa dengan politik dan demokrasi kita. Berkemungkinan besar nama yang kita akan yang kita akan susah payah untuk berluang mimpi pada pilihan raya umum yang akan datang. Now back to Mahathir. In a press conference earlier today, the Pujong chairperson was asked if he would follow in the footsteps of DAP veteran Lim Kit Siang and retire from politics. This was his response. Pujong chairperson Dr. Mahathir Mohamad said that he would remain with the party and would not retire. He said this in response to a question on whether he would consider retiring like DAP veteran Lim Kit Siang. Ma Kit Siang, yeah, that is his decision. I am not uh, leaving Pejuang. I'm still with Pejuang. Maybe I will not contest. Maybe. But I still cannot make a decision now because uh, I have to abide by the decision of my party, not just myself. Mahathir said this today after a meeting with NGO Yayasan Anti Raswah where he accepted an application by its president, Muhammad Nizam Isa, to formally join Pejuang. On March 20th, DAP veteran Lim Kit Siang had announced his retirement from politics, saying he would not contest for any party position in the DAP Congress or any parliamentary or state assembly seat in the future. The Iskandar Putri MP said he has been with the party for 56 years and has seen it develop from a small opposition party into a major political party in the Pakatan Harapan coalition, which won the 14th general election. And that is all for me today. For more stories, you can go to kinetv.com. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube and Facebook for the latest news updates. If you'd like to support independent media, do consider subscribing to malaysiakini.com. Thank you for watching.